Hello, this is Francisco Pulgar Vidal with FEI Quality. Today I wanted to speak about the different type of problems that companies face and also the fact that Lean Six Sigma is a method that serves to solve problems and also to improve operations. Now, in order to understand uh, the companies, uh, companies facing a number of problems, it is useful to think about them in three levels and uh, classify them in three levels. And those levels are business, uh, operational, and procedural. This is how uh, you may think about them in the shape of a pyramid. These are going to be at the top, the business level type problems. They usually are related with money and have a financial comp uh, impact or a financial characteristics to them. Second, we have operational type of problems. And finally, at the lowest, most basic level, we have procedural type of problems. These type of problems uh, can be addressed by multiple methodologies, but Lean Six Sigma is best at addressing the middle layer, the ones that we're going to call operational problems. However, let's take one step back and look at how problems begin. Usually, they're going to begin as a business type problem. For instance, let's talk about customer refunds. Let's say that there's a number of customers which are not happy with the quality of products that they get. And they have been successfully got refunds from the company. Let's say that, for instance, one in 10 are getting a refund. This would represent a large amount of money for a company that obviously is not in the business of uh, offering refunds but rather to uh, exchange monies, revenue for goods and services. How could this problem be solved rapidly? This is a business or a financial type problem. It could be solved with a business or financial type of answer. For instance, an easy thing would be to change the refund policy so that you basically would cancel this loop and uh, this, this action, and therefore the refunds would be made very hard to be obtained you can change the policies, or you can actually flat out deny these uh, refunds. That is what we would call a financial solution to a financial problem or to a business problem. The question, however, is how sustainable is this solution? Clearly, not very sustainable. So when problems and opportunities are identified first as financial, it is useful to ask whether or not they're due to poor operations poorly run operations. And so we begin to go from the top level in the pyramid through an analytical work. We start going down from the business or financial aspect to the operations. How are these operations being run? Now, when you start doing this analysis, then you will find out that the operational diseases may have all sorts of different aspects. In order to get to understand what these are really, we need to look for and understand uh, primarily the voice of the customer. There may also be the voice of the process itself through statistical analysis that will help us understand really what's going on. So part of the analysis that is happening here is to understand what you would call the voice of the customer and also the voice of the process itself. So as we had seen, there are these three levels of problems, right? Business, operational and procedural. And this is the one where Lean Six Sigma can, uh, the methods of Lean and Six Sigma can be of maximum impact. And the other important thing is that we're describing is how we're actually are going through like an analysis. Analysis work that takes us from a problem that is primarily identified in financial terms and monetary terms to a problem that is more about operations. And these operations, like we just said, can be of different types, you know, different type of problems like slow, rigid, defective, and obscure. One example of this would be where you actually have at the financial problem or the business problem, you have the problem of customer refunds. If we were to understand this through the voice of the customer and the voice of the process, 
then you will find that these really are due to a number of things, and all of these are of operational type. And so the type of problems that you may find in operations are that maybe the design of the product or the design of the service is not as good as it should have been, or maybe the fulfillment of those operations is also not as good as it should have been. A personal example is as follows. We just recently got a reservation for a hotel room at a nice resort. Now, when we got to this property, to the actual property, we found out that what we had uh, in mind and what had been promised to us was really not what was being delivered. So that indicated a problem of with the design of the product itself, in this case, you know, a vac week of vacation in, in some nice place, and how this was actually delivered or fulfilled by that uh, hotel company. So what you had is an operational problem where the design of the offer is really not as it was supposed to be. It was lower, the amenities on the room were not what we expected, the size of the room was not what we wanted, etc. And then the fulfillment itself, which by the time that we actually go to the hotel, there had been a whole lot of um, misunderstandings and difficulties just in trying to get it set up. So you had two problems of operational kind right away. Now, the hotel wanting still to kind of keep our business and not uh, create uh, bad publicity or just get, get bad reputation from us, they decided to upgrade us to a better one. So it was almost like a customary fund. It was an exchange. It was a compensation for a poor serve, poorly delivered service or a poorly uh, designed product. And so now the problem that they're having is that for ourselves or anybody else who had a similar type of issue, they are experiencing a number of customer refunds, money going out of their uh, um, revenue stream, and instead they have to accommodate uh, us and other guests in a higher level of accommodations, which is not something that they had planned, obviously. So this is one example where you see that a, if you wanted to study this from the outside, you will see that there is a financial problem, but actually had its roots in a poorly designed product and a uh, you know, faulty fulfillment. So the business problems is related to an operational problem. How would you solve this going forward? How they could have done it? They should have designed a better product, designed a better fulfillment experience, so that then that would have taken care of uh, avoiding the customer refunds. And that is kind of the, the, the way in which Lean Six Sigma works. Just like the analysis goes down, then the solution actually goes up, which is kind of a complementary arrow that then goes like this, and so the actual solution of the problems begin from the bottom of the pyramid towards the top. In fact, in this case, I'm going all the way to, from operations even to process or procedural problems because that's really where things break down. The operations don't break down by themselves, they break down at the procedural level. And so if you fix the processes, you fix the operations. When you fix the operations, you fix the business problem and the financial consequences that derive from it. So this is the summary of the three main problems that companies experience and how Lean Six Sigma addresses really the core of everything by trying to solve the problems of poorly designed and poorly executed operations. Thank you for your time.